Hello everyone and welcome back and hold your horses. I know you see mono red and you want to click off immediately, but please just give me a second to explain myself and why we're playing mono red today. And then maybe you'll be like, okay, that makes sense. So I got in a couple of messages recently and it's like, what should I play to hit mythic or the deck I have a pretty good win rate with? Why did I not hit mythic with it? Well, I play a lot of different decks. Okay. And at some of them, the decks you won't see, I'm looking at my untapped records right now. I have like a one in five, a two and 12, like trying out different decks that are bad. So today I thought, well, if we just want to talk about what deck is the best deck to grind and just hit mythic. And that's your only goal. You don't care about what you're playing. You just want to get as many games in as quickly as you can to try to get mythic as quickly as possible. Well, today I'm going to show you one of those decks that you can play to do that very, very quickly. So today we have a 78% win rate deck or 80% if you want to be very quick about it. And it's just mono red. Play a lot of good cards and a lot of the spots that our good cards fill out. And with this, I will say our average match time is three minutes. That is it. We have two games that lasted one minute. And we had one game that lasted seven minutes. And as throughout the video, you'll see why. But we had a lot of games very, very quick. We just went one, two, three. And our opponent said, yep, that's enough for me. And then they leave. So it's mono red. <laughs> but we are playing a different variation of it. We are playing at something a little bit more spicy. Like normally a lot of people will be playing the other one where the creatures die. They deal a lot of damage because it's kind of a lot easier. It's very, very linear. You don't really make a lot of different game actions. But here we're playing Higher Claw, which is definitely a card that you won't see very often in red, but I actually like it and enjoy playing this card. We have Swiss Spear, obviously, as the best one drop in our deck into a Monstrous Rage for prowess purposes, plus trample purposes, shocks, lightning strikes to help push in the damage or use these as our removal spells. And then we also have Obliterating Bolt for kind of the mirror matchups to exile the creatures that we need to exile because it's also exiles and hits for four. So they're most likely not going to prowess that creature out of range. Even the one that gives plus two plus two. And if it's targeted, it gets a counter. Like even if it's four, this still ends up hitting it and exiling it. It'll work pretty good there. And then we're on four slick shots, two charming scoundrels to help us hit our links. And then the Emerald Heart challengers as just another fast prowess creature. But we are also dabbling with a couple of things here where we play Urbras Forge to win the games that we have to. So a lot of times we're looking to plot slick shot, cast slick shot on turn three. They'll counter slick shot if they have it and we resolve an Urbass Forge or we get slick shot on the battlefield, cast Urbass Forge, which will also trigger its prowess mechanic. And then it'll be bigger. And then our Urbass Forge can start cooking right away. And then if our opponent is just a very like domain or multi land deck, well, we, we got the answer for that. We'll we'll just play the links and hit them for however many non-basics we have. And we do find a couple of lethal combats with this card. So that's very exciting for today. But other than that, if our only goal is to try to hit Mythic, you'll see how we don't quite get there today. But you'll see how easy and how fast you can climb with this game or get through games, even if you're on kind of a loss streak to get back into that win streak and win. So other than that, we're going to go ahead and hop into the games. Hope you all enjoy them. And let's just get out there and see how fast Mono Red can truly win. And again, if you all enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. It truly helps out the channel a ton. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Oh, we go first. Nice. We have win condition. Win condition. Nice. Hopefully we're against a deck that can't beat an Urbass Forge if we draw a third land. That's a green. Terra Sunder is possible. Okay, our opponent can indeed beat an Urbass Forge. We have a Lightning Strike which can reach here, so I'm just going to play a second creature and go in. On a 16, we're most likely against bunnies. Yeah. So... Again, this will enter. There'll be a counter here. So now I can double play with fire and then get in for a ton. They're going to hold back to hopefully contain, but they just will not get that opportunity. Prowess, prowess. That's gone. Gonk here. More prowess. Hit for a ton. That's seven. Now, if they play like a big creature in our way, they'll be kind of forced to block because they'll be afraid of what we can do. Um, I might also just put slick shot in the plot zone and maybe get in. I like West Caller, fine, sure. 
fine dandy okay um i could just lightning strike this out of the way but i do think it is just i only end up playing there maybe it is just stay aggressive Force them to have it, I suppose. I could have also opted to maybe just play the slick shot and attack in the air for that. So let's go ahead and attack for five. Down the four. We've used a lot of burn already, so it's unlikely for us to find more. But there's a two drop. There's a two ish drop. Now, Urbrass Forge actually kind of a devastating hit here because it will trigger prowess plus to make a creature. So now it's just an all-out attack again. A double block. So this actually kills both of these, by the way. Whether they realize that or not. Two and one, and then the other one will go away. Therefore, this will become a one-one, and then that will also die. So unfortunate for our opponent. I think if we were the version, like the normal way that these mono red decks have kind of been playing out, where they, uh... Like the normal ver I guess this has trample. I didn't really have to do that. So just get in. Unless this is like uh, lay down arms or something. Or not lay down arms. Else press smite. But if I was the normal version that didn't play burn. And I just played like all the attachments and the auras and the pumps. They could have probably got enough creatures in the way. By like taking a little bit of sure added blast. Up. Oh, they could have played enough of these creatures early. Like they had four on the board. And if they would have played this next turn. This would have got so large that probably pumping my creatures wasn't ever really going to get there but because i have play our shocks i'm just like remove them out of the way get in for a ton take their entire early game out of the situation blaze zero one is going to be on the play and playing mono red as well so we'll see what happens here a lot of prowess a lot of things a lot of places i mean if you're named blaze zero one and you're not playing prowess i don't know what you're doing here you know don't you dare no shocks not too loud. This is also a sorcery, so we have to be a little bit careful uh, how we kind of play out our turns. We attack, of course. No real reason not to. I could just also plot my slick shot and look to develop that way. So I could play it for free on a following turn. Then I might want to obliterate Bolt. But we'll kind of see what they do. They go slick shot, so I guess I remove it from the game. Lightning strike or a sorcery speed spell. So, of course, it's going to be the sorcery speed spell. I guess you could argue it's supposed to be lightning strike because that does exile so if they play the one drop that hits your opponent like you get rewarded but that gets slick shot by my opponent hopefully i draw a land land please they draw land okay we do draw land look at us look at us chant Next. I mean, you're a mono red player. Are you patient? Okay. Lightning strike here. Good slick shot. We can't die if they have no creatures, right? Lightning strike out of the way. Ensure that we kind of don't like just lose to a creature next turn. Three mana and a slick shot for the decks that play monstrous rages and all the pump spells is typically enough sign for lethal but my all right three slick shots in a row couldn't be me another land furious rage at seven like i said it doesn't take much slick shot for protection i guess play swiss spear we hit all attack and then we hold the slick shot back down to 10 as long as they can't give it trample we can like block hopefully and then if we find land we can commit more and deal half their life total or we can try to play a slick shot again but i mean by all means we have to block just hoping they don't have a way to give it trample or to give trample plus like fling it and everything so there's two oh or trample yet they just get our slick shot out of the way. Okay. 
another land so at least we can do kind of the play we talked about play slick shot play emberheart i said it couldn't be me by the way as i play my second slick shot all attack hold slick shot back like we said take half their life total here now maybe we get there maybe okay <laughs> like that might be single-handedly the weirdest like mono red versus mono red matchup you're ever going to see and we end up winning that game because we have the removal so this is the weird game where i'm going to keep i know i don't have a creature but most of my creatures have haste or some variation of haste and I have an urbass forge which can win a lot of matchups on its own plus like maybe burn slash removal most likely these are going to be used as removal they just also trigger prowess white rune lurker bat life gain let's shut that off right away might be a bit aggressive a love lightning strike but i know what they play so uh i'm not that worried about it i don't think it's that aggressive they might play the chandler here kind of the kind of the problem they take damage sure nothing nothing on my back there so I'm going to go for Urbass Forge so I can get Forge going as quickly as possible. They can definitely outpace us on it. And I do have the fourth land so I can play Slick Shot for turn and then Lightning Strike a creature out of the way. This doesn't technically like gain any life. So it's a little bit interesting. They do have a couple of creatures in their deck that can't really block. Um, so it's interesting there as well. Or we could argue to maybe plot the slick shot and then hold up double spells here so it is a bit more protected in case but most likely go for the throw twin to be in their deck when another creature you control enters you gain a life sure now they gain a life now the bat happens yeah okay huh interesting now this gets to happen maybe they'll block maybe so let's play this make a mana here i'm going to look to plot this so i think i'm gonna have to use my lightning strike this turn and then i'm going to look to play slick shot plus swift spear into monster rage next turn plus i'll have a three one kind of trampling haster to work with and if they don't have this in play they might not be able to gain another life I feel like i can always like lightning strike it in response I think they're deciding whether or not to block the bat which i would argue that they probably could but they did just see a slick shot going there plot zone i could have played that but again i was afraid of it getting removed so we'll let this go whenever they put something on the stack we'll then remove the pilgrim we want them to tap out because they have a second copy of this or they're relying on gaining the life from the pilgrim so i can then remove it so there's a malia malia is good but again it all gets worse whenever they gain the life actually so we do that now they have a bat they don't they gain life that way ah oh, man two gain life lands back to back is a little tough will they miss it no i don't think they will i think they saw no they missed it my bad <laughs> all right so we have a pretty good closer damage can't be prevented they have three lands so it deals three damage to them so let us put in a swift spear let us put a slick shot on the stack let us go to combat here get them in we'll see where monster trades has to go obviously if they block swift spear most likely monster trades is going in on it i think i go all out here they're giving me the opportunity to do so and i will take that opportunity in stride it's not an assembly worker right <laughs> it's like can i puff can i buff that that's crazy so now they have some issues i have this damage can't be prevented which they're not really going to do that but it will sadly they played another basic but this will be three damage acclozons e uh-oh back at monster trees okay um Hmm. 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 
Now, this will get big enough to remove Aquazots anyway. So I have to deal 11 damage ish. I don't really want to bring this up because of this thing. Let's see what happens when I go to combat here. Because again, Urban Forge is also increasingly getting bigger and bigger every turn. That is kind of a problem for them. I assume Aklazots is jumping in front of the slick shot. Now, of course, if Aklazots is a land, they try to bring it back up. It'll come back up tapped, so we don't have to worry about it that much there. If I can just throw a monstrous rage on Maybe I get away with it here. The mask gonna be a little tough. Maybe they're realizing that. Okay. We'll have to count after this pretty much. That's what we'll have to do. Sure. So four damage there. I can remove it by monsters raging the Swiss spear. And because they double blocked, I don't think the mask actually that hard anymore. I think it is just monster straight Swiss spear. Yeah, it's just monster straight Swiss spear. And now Swiss spear will even stay alive. And then Aklazots will then die. They'll get hit for a bit. Down to one. They'll gain four, go to five. And then all that will resolve. Sure. And they have a life duo on top, so they could keep that, gain life, take a damage off the uh, cave, and then maybe go from there. Aklazots also, by the way, counts as another non-basic land, so this is now doing only four. So we'll six. Or <laughs> yeah, who's four plus one equals six? Sure, that's fine. Nice, 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 nice. So they're going to gain quite a bit of life here, but the problem is I think I got too much. And you attack? Crazy, man. You know I'm making like a 5-1. Maybe they feel confident. Sure. Sure. I'm going to... Did I play this before or after? I'm so mad. I'm probably supposed to play that after, by the way. <laughs> Make them see how they block. Maybe they'll try to keep one around and then I just hit them for four. Opponent goes first. It's not fair. Uh, we'll keep. We're most likely going to play this on one, play this on two, and then good, go about our day. Golgari, sure. I would claw. We're lizards, by the way. Uh, should I plot this? I probably should. Stunned. Hey, you know, as long as you don't tell him, Chad, I won't tell him. Plot. And then we can play this, and then we play the Herbrass Forge after. Um, here. This guy? Ask this guy. Now, you're using the braid just now, so hopefully we're good. That's a bonk and a bonk. Slick shot's looking like it's gonna live, maybe. If not, we do have slick shot into shock plus monster range. And they didn't do anything with the mana they just had. So I'm going for it. Okay, they might have found something. <laughs> they just played all untapped mana, so I was kind of opting to go for this. And we hold the Swiss Spear as a creature on the back end. We go to combat. No blocks. I throw up a shock, see if they go to remove anything. And then I attempt to go for this because it's just so much damage. It's hard to turn away. Okay. <laughs> this, dude, this is why people play mono red chat. Like sometimes you just have to play mono red to be like, I don't feel like I'm doing anything. I'm just playing stuff and just slamming my opponent. You know, like I'm just saying, turn them sideways. Please don't interact with me. Smile. Um, opponent goes first. It's weird because if I'm against Monored, I'm probably losing because they're on the play anyway. 
But if there's anything else, our Brass Forge can kind of dominate on its own. But I can also Obliterating Bolt. There's a Ruckus. Uh, another land's not great. Not a super fan of that. Oh, oh and my spells are sort. All right, my bad, dog. <laughs> like, I'm just going to lose because I'm also drawing only lands. But it is what it is. I uh, get rid of a land. Draw. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, Mono Red. Arena decided I had to lose now. Come on. Come on. Put Slick Shot in. Do the whole... Do the whole thing. Come on. Come on. I can't believe I'm tapped out and they're not going for it. That's absurd to me. <laughs> Arena is a joke. Arena is a joke. All right, well. Yep, one, four, eight. All right. And my opponent hasn't killed me yet. There's zero chance you don't kill me now, right, opponent? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm hmm Doc. Uh-huh. Monster Shrade's flying. Seems about right. Oh. No. Oh, you're going to upset me, dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just give me one more land off the top. Well, there's Lightning Strike that I would have enjoyed last turn, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Um, Pass. Who knows? Weirdly enough, our opponent's hand's not the best either, right? Uh-huh. Here. I Man, I'm dead to like everything. I don't know. Find something to kill me, please. I I want you to win. I don't want to have to sit here. Uh this what three five monstrous rage, please. Thank you, dude. Holy man. The fact that I even like, I, I know it was like a long shot, but the fact that I even had a chance there is absurd. Oh, you're first and we have the spicy boy hand. Sure. What I mean by spicy boys, we have slick shot, which is probably a must answer threat into an Urbrass Forge into like a Lynx. But our Lynx does shoot us for two and they look like Monoret. Man, they really do just put Monored in the corner by themselves sometimes, huh? It almost gives you a new appreciation for Monored. They just have to play each other all day sometimes. Maybe we should be a little bit easier on them. I'm lying. Be mean to them. I don't care. <laughs> uh, I doubt you're actually like a Gruul deck, right? There's like no way. Don't pour Urbrass Forge. They could have a braid, I guess. That would be a thing they could have. Now is it slick shot the problem or is it Urbrass Forge? Lightning Strike, okay. Fair, 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 fair. Attack. Might have to play Higher Claw on a Shock next turn, depending what they play. But Lynx is also really cool. There's a basic Mountain, which is not what we want to see. If we are to draw land, I hope it's a basic Mountain. No. Stop it. All right, well, I'm okay. That's fine. <laughs> if there's like a tame version of what that could have been, I'm glad that that's what that was. Uh, we'll shock this now. I'm not going to leave that creature around. There's just zero chance. I'm even flirting with that, especially when they have green. They end up having things like snakeskin veils and stuff. And then I guess just put a counter on this guy. Sure. I forgot I could do that. Normally when I play the lizards, like you have lizards that deal the damage. And this is like, nah, I'm just a 2-3, man. I'm having a good time. Um, I guess I could probably just go ahead and take two. I think I want to play my whole hand. Here's a Lynx. 
Damage can't be prevented. The deal is damage each player equals the number of non-base lands I have. So they have two. Flushing Druid, sure. Hey, there's a monster traits. That's not good. That's not good. What do you have? All right. Well, that kind of helps me. The spear. Now I have a 5 4 as well. And I can also bring up the foundry to attack. So if my opponent kind of goes all out here, we can maybe figure out the math. Questing Druid. With Spear. With two, I'm not concerned, I don't think. No blocks. I know they're going to have to invest this monster trade. There's no reason to put the links in front when I can attack with it and get their questing druid down. But also, if I do find a way to kill the questing druid. Yeah. Or if I find a monster trade, like. I'll tap this. Bring this up. You no, know, sometimes it giveth and sometimes it taketh away. And sometimes mono red players flash rule players are left to themselves to play. They could have a witch stalker frenzy here and which my links actually sir dies to. That's weird. Um, we got opponent. I'm attacking. Figure it out. Is it a witch stalker frenzy? I feel like it is. Snake skin veil gains hexproof in a one one and it's green so it only gains the one one sure um i still think monsters raging it makes sense because it's already one over so it's definitely the play and that should be lethal okay all right we go first very cool I don't know if it's supposed honestly Swiss spear has haste so it's probably hired claw like nor or more often than not like you would argue is like you're supposed to play the Swiss spear but when you play against something like this where a temporary lockdown becomes viable um it's way harder not to play the higher claw we'll play slick shot we'll attack we'll hit for three because the ping off the higher call also covers the distance that the Swiss spear would have got you so here's this it's a get lost most likely maybe a play of fire maybe a lightning helix all kind of bad uh sir you answer the slick shot i don't know why we highlighted both creatures i didn't think the math was that hard but you know it's what it is or rest more although i guess generically like if i don't pump the slick shot weirdly enough the higher claw does do more damage but it's not like close math at all if you're like oh they put one spell on the stack it's like, oh yeah, it's clearly get rid of the slick shot, but all right. Yeah, cool. <laughs> oh boy. Honestly, I guess we just run until we lose and I'll just call the video there. We might hit mythic. We might not. Opponent goes first. Sure, we'll keep. Any hand that I kind of just have like the Urbass Forge in, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to keep it. This is like blue white, like deal with my Urbass Forge, I guess. Um, combat attack. I hit. Okay. We did hit a land. So maybe I plot this. And then I put this on the stack so my opponent counters it. And then I play an Urbass Forge. Oh, it's blue white. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, cast. Yep. That's what we wanted. Especially against blue white. Here's my Rebrass Forge. We fire these in. A bonk and a bonk. And Rebrass Forge is cooking now. Could play Scoundrel, make a treasure so my Lynx is good. Um, we also can play Higher Claw and then Shock. What are we? What are we? Who are we? Are we Jace Gamers? Are um, minus two there. There's a Lynx. So I guess I play a scoundrel. I make a treasure token. I move to combat. I just 
You know what? I don't care, bro. It's FaceTime. Hello, pick up. It's FaceTime. It's me, Mr. FaceTime. I'm not going to play the higher claw. I'm just going to wait. Realistically, I feel like a temporary lockdown is possible if they ever find a second white mana, so I don't really want to commit to that. That is demo field. That doesn't work. That's fine. Become subdued. Your face. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Uh Lucky Boy Make it hard. <gasps> Tragic. I recall. I'll play it now because I'm gonna try to play the links on the next couple turns. Brass Forge. Here's my three. Womp. Down the six. Rest Forge. Rest Forge will make four damage and then I can play a Lynx post combat. Potentially. Um and Jace at seven uh seven three twenty one fifteen for thirty six. I'm at forty eight, so I'm fine. It's like I'm not just dead to double Jace. Yo chat, you like that math? Impressive, right? Oh, there's the lockdown. Now I'm scared. Basically, land off the top, right? Organic mines are easily quelled. Ah, uh, this one. Ah, uh, to the dome. Thanks. <laughs> Blue white losing to a four mana card. Name a better duo. Uh, we go first. Uh huh. You're telling me I have hasters? Okay. Play a higher claw. Go ahead, opponent. Oh no, bro. Play a fire. Oh, lightning strike's pretty good. I guess, like. Hmm. Ah, they're not gonna block, but let's see it. Yeah. I'm gonna see if they go for playing it like playing something on it and lightning striking it With spear, okay Yep mm -hmm. Okay, we need to see where this tries to equip All right, we remove that. So now this doesn't equip anywhere. I take two and not. Well, I take three, I guess. All right. All right. Sweet, 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 sweet. Um, gives one O and gains haste. Oh, everything in my deck has haste, my guy. Um, this one, I guess we could target the challenger for free. Friend. And now we have to hope that maybe I find like a monster rage. Monsters rage smile our opponent could win So why can't I you know what I'm saying? Double attack pretty sweet I can also activate the village onto the challenger and see if I get anything dude. They found monsters rage. It's only fair Okay, her brass forge is not it but like does trigger prowess um let us go for this and see if I hit anything. It's a land. Two cards in hand. And Slickshot already has Trample. <laughs> yeah, I guess I have to like go for the shot, right? The shot heard around the world. Put this on into play. And just use it as two extra life and hope we get there or oh, straight into combat. Okay. I don't think we win. I think we actually end up losing here. So this is kind of the combat math I was talking about before, but because this already has trample, it doesn't matter. Man. Okay, brother. I get it. You got it. Holy cow. My bad, dude. No, you had it like that. I'm sorry. 
I mean, I think we flooded a little too much, so. The run-ins. The run-ins. Uh, and I'm sticking true to it. I'm a, also, I'm done playing Mono Red, to be honest. Uh, it is what it is, but here we are. This is the list, if you're interested. The only thing I'll say kind of out here is that Obliterating Bolt is definitely the most questionable card because it is a sorcery speed card, but at the same time, it does exile and it hits probably the highest we can get, especially in red. And maybe having only three monstrous rage is questionable in comparison to this. But um, yeah, I mean, it worked out well. Our Rast Forge is always good. We do play quite a bit of lands. We're on 24. And best of one, you could probably cut one of those or two of those. Um, but with that said, this is Mono Red. I don't have anything else to say. We see it all day. This is the version, if I was going to play Mono Red, I'd play because I think this is really funny. I think this is the funniest card that you can be playing if you're playing Mono Red. Also, you also play a card that's unbeatable for certain decks. They just die to this card. Like, weirdly, the decks that play this card are the one that die to this card, which is the funniest thing. But, yeah, so that's it for us. I hope you all enjoyed anyway. We didn't quite hit Mythic with Red, but, I mean, with our win record, as you saw, every single game we played... It's not that hard if we really wanted to hit it. So other than that, catch y'all later. Thanks for watching and goodbye.